Here's a good tip for those of you that are using your stream on Twitch or Facebook gaming or whatever for more than just gaming. This is my lazy music reacts scene, but with the click of a button on my stream deck, it automatically changes to my just chatting scene and it shows my little window up there, which, you know, I can change to my Xbox, my desktop, whatever. But then when my daughter gets back in here, we're back to Lazy Music Reacts. Let me show you how to do it. It's real simple. What's going on, guys? Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV. Uh, well, it says Lazy Music Reacts, but we'll get back into that. The point of this is to really show you what the power of your stream deck has behind it. Because a lot of you are utilizing the stream deck to change your scenes, which is great. But there's so much more. And that's thanks to a plugin called the OBS Tools by Bar Raider. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. This is the Stream Deck software. And again, you can use this with, with virtually any uh, of the other free kind of, you know, touch portal, or I know you could do it in Leorn board, but for me personally, I like to do it with my Stream Deck because I have a physical, you know, manifestation of the Stream Deck right here. So, but again, for cost prohibited, the cost, blah, 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 blah. If you don't have a stream deck right now because of, you know, things, uh, Leorn board is another option. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, let me know. What you're going to want to do first is once you have the stream deck software open, go to more actions and search for OBS. I already have it pulled up here and you're going to want to install the OBS tool by Bar Raider. Once that's installed, you'll see all of these things that you can do and these hook into OBS. It's very important that you do install the WebSocket and follow the instructions on installing the WebSocket to make sure that OBS tools by Bar Raider is connected to your OBS or else none of this is going to work. So um, you can create a multi-action like I have done here, uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to do one thing and that is remove this lower third right underneath me. So under OBS tools bar raider, you're going to go to source visibility and you just drag that in there and you can title it third. We'll just title it third. doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, and here's where you need to be very specific scene name. And I know this scene is called share desktop. So I'm going to choose share desktop and then also the source name and I don't know why it's not a drop down menu. You have to type it in, um, but it is what it is. And you have to make sure that this is the exact same titling that is in OBS. So this in OBS is called new in full uppercase, uh, lower third left Tony video and visible image and invisible image you don't need to do that. That I can only assume is when you have a file that is selected, that is pulling a file directly from your, your desktop or your, you know, wherever you have the file in your pictures folder and it's placing that and replacing it, um, you know, back and forth. I don't do that because all, all we're doing is making it appear and then making it disappear. So that's all set. So if I go ahead and click the button right here, this should disappear and there it goes and here it goes. And there it goes and here it goes and as you can see the image on the stream deck is changing depending if it's showing or not showing so you can visually see on your stream deck that's it that's all you have to do if you are going to utilize this uh, let me know in the comment section down below how you plan on utilizing it for me specifically it is really nice to be in this scene and be able to have it quickly and easily uh, switch my just chatting to my lazy music reacts and then I could switch it to my asking Australia podcast go ahead and check that out or my still recording podcast go ahead and check that out it's, it's just so nice to just be able to do that without having to click all the little eyeballs in OBS so once you do all the work it's done you're fine. So make sure you install that WebSocket though. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave that in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi.